Nice, Jack. I missed it, dude. I missed it too, bitch. <laughs> I am what I am and that's all that I am. I am what I am and that's all that I am. I am what I am, I'm a I'm a hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am. I am what I am, I'm a hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am. I am what I am, I'm still a hooligan. I'm waking up at like 11 in the morning. Playing by the rules, yo, it's just so boring. I'm eating Captain Crunch for lunch, too. I got issues, yeah, man, I got a bunch. Like late night fist fights, half pipes and dirt bikes. Yo, I love them all, so they label me an outlaw. But I still keep it raw. You don't have to respect me, you can love me or hate me But I ain't gonna change and you ain't gonna make me The lyrical privilege for the day Living life on the air, straight out of control Suck with my asshole and I am what I, I am. am. what I am and that's all that I am. Why? I am what I am, I'm a hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am. Call I know you don't chill. Oh, well, chill. You Crack that motherfucker. Chill. Hooligan! Thought about riding when I was younger. But I just never had the money to get a bike, and I was always dreaming about it. And then one day I got a bike and met a friend that road, and then we started riding together when I was about 16. And then I got into it and been riding since about four years now. Uh, in riding, I've had about like up to about six to ten broken in riding all together in my life. I've broken oh 19 bones. 19 bones. But, uh, since then, I've been a little bit more, I guess you can say, cautious. I've only had one knockout, but it was pretty good. And uh, I don't know, my collar, I've had a broken collarbone with a broken ankle and three broken fingers at the same time. So, it got pretty crazy. The, mo the, the worst bone I broke, I think, was my tailbone because I, I split my whole tailbone shattered it and uh, I couldn't sit down for like a month. That hurt pretty bad. Yeah! <laughs> well wearing a shirt or not wearing a shirt you're just gonna get scrapes. You're gonna get scraped up. I mean I mean it might save the scrapes a little bit but as far as chest protectors and stuff like that, I used to ride with the chest protector and it always got in my way and it seemed like I was going to crash with it on. So I stopped wearing that for like a year or two and then I actually just started wearing it because my doctor said I got to start wearing shit like that. And Jack was born with a really tiny, tiny um, right ventricle and then he also had um, the valve that went to the lung, the whole passageway to the lung was completely closed off. So he had a really serious heart defect. There's a lot they can't do. And a lot of what they do is kind of experimental. And he was kind of an experiment. It was hard to raise a little kid and not know if he was going to even be alive the next year. And it was that way for quite a while. Uh, I've had a heart condition uh, throughout my whole life. And uh, <laughs> I've uh, actually accomplished a lot with my conditions but uh when i was about two days old i had my first surgery they opened them up through the side they went in through the lungs on this side and they put what's called a shunt which bypassed um all this and it went straight to the lungs and so that was enough to get him by at that point there was a no turning back on that surgery that was mm -hmm. once you did that it was permanent and you just hoped that they could go for a long time on that but again they didn't know how long because he was the first one of the first kids that had that and then my second surgery was two years old and uh, they removed this wall between the atrium and the ventricle and they just made this side one side and he still had this sickness here but they they shaved it down a little bit so he had this one side and then they just put a shunt that went straight to his lungs like this so that's what his heart looked like and then my last surgery my third was when I was 17 
which is like two years ago. So what they did was they took pericardium from a cow and they built um, a, a new atrium wall here and they put a valve in from a pig here and they took this shunt down here and they put another valve in from a pig here and then they um, they removed all this large part by just cutting um, a portion and sectioning out a part of the heart and sewing it back up so it was a normal size. So um, so now is actually the first time he has like a totally normal functioning heart in his whole life since he was 17. He was 17. Yeah, and he's done really, really well with that, despite himself. <laughs> Uh, my name is Tyler Frank. I'm 20 years old. I've known Jack since I was five years old. Jack's one of my best friends. We've always got each other's backs when shit hits the fan. Jack and I started riding together when we got into high school. And we've been riding together ever since. We've just been pushing each other ever since to do better and better. When he first started out, he just went for any jump we told him and just ate shit on it. He was always fucking beat up, scars, broken bones. We were amped just to see him out there charging it, you know. Just fucking going big, didn't care, he had no limits. I think he pretty much thinks, you know, if he's gonna die, he's gonna die, you know. He's got a very serious heart condition. Every time we go out and ride, we're always worried about if he goes down and he's not getting back up. I mean, as long as he got the jumper cables nearby, his jump's starting back up. When Jack had his second heart surgery, we were all worried about whether he was gonna make it or not, whether he was gonna pull through it, but. He pulled through it with flying colors and came out, came out on top. 